Hey everybody, um, my name is Evelyn and I love polish. Hi, I'm Captain Obvious. <laughs> Come watch my video. <laughs> I am so ready for this video, you guys. I am so ready. Like on a scale of one to 10, I am ready like 50 because I'm talking about Zoya. Zoya is my favorite mainstream brand. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, I feel like I can do this. It's a bold statement. But if I had to get rid of all of the polish in my collection, except for one brand, it would be Zoya. <laughs> I love Zoya. So, um, Hopefully, I'm sure if you are a nail polish lover like myself, you're familiar with the brand. Uh, we know, we all know Zoya, we love Zoya, we know the, we know the hits. But I'm here today to talk about the deep tracks. <laughs> so hopefully, um, this list of 10 uh, polishes that I'm showing you, hopefully there will be something that sparks your interest. Maybe you have one of these in your collection and this will encourage you to dig it out and show it some love. I do know the Zoya Earth Day promo is running until um, May 10th, excuse me. So there is still time, said the enabler. <laughs> there is still time uh, to place an order if you were thinking about it or procrastinating or wanted to order again because you're super obsessed. <laughs> so we're gonna get into it, talk about 10. I'm like super energized. I had a uh, one of these. <laughs> um, these are really good. So good. Anyway, um, and I haven't eaten anything all day, so that's what I'm, I'm powered by Red Bull today. Not sponsored. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get into it. All right, so these are no particular order. We're just going to talk about some Zoyas. I'm going to start with what's on my nails because why not? It's a good place to start. Um, this is Kieko, and... Um, I love this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love all of these. Uh, this is a, I'd say this is a, a dusty, very smoky plum um, with a little bit of orchid thrown in there. Beautiful cream, absolutely gorgeous. This is like opaque in one coat, one generous coat. You can get away with it. I did too. And this sort of feels like the older, wiser sister to Perry. <laughs> Um, so if you love Perry and you want something maybe just a little bit deeper, a little bit dustier too, um, Kieko is your girl. Good stuff. Oh, and if I don't specify, I just want to throw this out there. These are all going to be two coat applications. Um, Kieko I think is the only one I know of in this batch that I'm talking about that's like a one coater. Um, so two coats for everything else. Um, okay, the next color is, boy, I have no rhyme or reason for grabbing these so I probably should have thought about that. Um, the next color is Oceane. I'm choosing to say Oceane. It's uh, spelled like ocean with an E on the end. Um, this is so beautiful, you guys. It's a deep, very saturated, shimmery teal with um, like silver, like silver shimmer. It, it's, it's silvery and they're sort of irregularly shaped and a little bit larger. They almost look like flakies. This is incredibly gorgeous, very opaque. Um, I love it and I feel like this is the type of color that you could throw onto your, you know, slap on your toes or your fingers and you'd be good through fall. Um, because I feel like as we get into the warmer months, this really um, holds its own against neons because it's very bright, but it's also a jewel tone. So if you're a seasonal nail polish wearer, I could see this having appeal both in the summer as well as in the fall. This is fantastic. So again, that is Oceane. All right, so next up is CC, and this is such a fun polish. It's a pixie dust, so if you're not a fan of textured polishes, this won't be your jam, but if you love a good textured polish and you're looking for something with a little bit of a different twist, this is awesome. It's like a, a key lime green 
uh, sparkle with with a ton, a ton, a ton of gold shimmer. Um, I love this. It almost has sort of a carbonated look to me on the nail. It makes me want to drink, you know, Sierra Mist, Sprite, 7-Up. Let's just name all the clear sodas. <laughs> um, I live in Michigan. It's supposed to be pop, okay? Let's name all the clear pop. It's soda, people. I'm from California originally, so sorry. <laughs> All right, so next color up is Rooney, and this is a beautiful kind of tropical hibiscus pink. It's got a cool undertone to it, so it's definitely not a warm, definitely not a warm pink. It's just perfection. This is one of my favorite Zoya pinks. Zoya makes a lot of great pinks, and I feel like um, this one gets overlooked. I have one coming up that is like I feel like no one talks about, but Rooney is fantastic. Again, great for summer, just like. Um, a few, a few of the others we've looked at so far, and it's um, a little more toned down than a neon, but it still is very full of life and just looks great on the nail. Love it. The next color up is Flora, and this is what I would consider just the every woman's pink. Um, it's seasonless, occasionless, ageless, anythingless, <laughs> except it's still really pretty. It's not too dark or too um, washed out. It's not too bright. It's not too dusty. It's, it doesn't pull too warm or cool. It, it manages to be nothing in particular, but it's just perfect. I'm so talking this up so much. I love this color. It's just the perfect petal pink. And here it is next to Rooney. You can see how much softer and almost, it does look dusty next to Rooney, but it's a little more vibrant on the nail than the, than the bottle would have you believe. But it's fantastic. It has a gorgeous formula. I love both of these pinks. These are two of my favorites from Zoya. I just, I feel like if you have these two pinks, you're, you're set. So next up is Hudson, and I love this. It's a, a very shimmery, very rich looking amethyst purple with, there's a silvery white fine like wash of shimmer over everything and then a more pronounced gold uh, fleck of shimmer in there as well. And you would think that the silvery white shimmer against the gold, against the amethyst base color would be maybe, you might think that might be a little much. It's perfect. It's just beautiful and just rich looking on the nail for, for it being such a light color. I feel like it looks very lush and just very shimmery. Um, so this really glows. I love this. Hudson, um, just a fantastic polish and I don't really feel like I hear a lot of people talk about that. Next up is Mason, and Mason is like an electric plum. It has a lot of red in it, and it has these uh, very fine flecks of warm red shimmer. I remember watching an old video from Erin from Paint Those Piggies, and she described the shimmer in here as looking like sparks, and I, I totally agree with that. It, it absolutely looks like that. Um, this is very similar to... Um, I think it's Millie. There's a color that came out in the most recent spring collection from Zoya, and I remember looking at like promotional pictures and initial like swatches and review stuff for, for that collection and specifically that color, and I thought, boy, I don't really think I would need that because I have Mason, and I, I, based on what I've seen and what I know about Mason, I prefer Mason. So this is another one. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it's fantastic. I love it. So next up is Binks. Binks is similar in tone to Kieko. These actually look really good together in a manicure. Um, it's got that same kind of smoky plum with a little bit of orchid base, but it's a jelly base. Um, and it has a ton of gold shimmer, as well as a variety of very fine hex glitter in just, just a multitude of shades. Just 
there's peach and green and cobalt blue and royal purple and there's like two different shades of green in here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I, for some reason, and this is like probably going to be the silliest way I describe any color, but I feel like if, if Tinkerbell or some fairy or some magical woodland creature, I don't know, <laughs> if they went to a potluck and they brought like a jello mold with, you know how sometimes you see jello and it has like fruit in it, like studded, it's studded with fruit. This would be like fairy potluck jello <laughs> because it's got the, the fruit like look to it. <laughs> what am I saying? And the gold shimmer in it because anything a fairy touches, right, is going to have shimmer and sparkle. This is so beautiful, you guys. Ignore that nonsensical description. I just, I can't help myself. I, I love this polish. I think it's amazing. So that is Banks. We have two more. <laughs> um, this is Normani, one of my all-time favorite Zoyas, hands down. Um, at some point, I need to do like a top 10 or 20. I'm not sure how long the list will be. This is easily in the top five. I love this color so much. It's a grungy, did I say it's called Normani? It's a grungy kind of taupe, but I see a little bit of a purple undertone. It's got, it almost looks brown. It's like chocolate milk, but sophisticated. It's just, and I love chocolate milk. <laughs> now I want some. Um, I love this color so much. It's beautiful. Normani is amazing. I find myself going back to it over and over, like as a, as a palette cleanser, um, after wearing just any slew of colors that are like seasonally appropriate. I usually kind of hit the reset button by reaching for something like this. And then finally, the last color we're talking about today is Harley. And Harley is, it's kind of like Serafina. I don't own Serafina from Zoya, but when I look at swatches of Serafina online, I think, that's kind of gray, it's kind of silver, but it's not really either of those. Um, this, I feel the same way about, but this is more, it's more noticeably gray, really. And it doesn't have that white, bright uh, quality that Serafina has. This is like, it's like fog. It, uh, Kyle and I went to Traverse City recently, and we, we stayed uh, the night in Traverse City, just as like a mini vacation, it was really fun. And as the day was winding down, there was fog rolling in. Uh, we were by a lake, which is easy to do when, or a body of water, which is easy to do when you live in Michigan. Um, so we, I looked out and I saw fog rolling in um, and it looked just like this. <laughs> and I just, I love that. So on a rainy day, this is perfect if you, if you want your nails to match the weather. Or on a foggy day, this is fantastic. I love, love, love Harley. And this has an ever so slight uh, lilac undertone to it, which I found, I don't know if the picture will capture it, but I just, I love this one. All right, so that is my, not really a top 10, but those were 10 polishes from Zoe that I don't feel get enough love and attention in the nail polish community. I think they're all amazing, and I hope you found something in this video helpful, uh, or at least amusing, and I just, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next video, so bye. <laughs>